All right, guys. So, a lot of people are having trouble with the new, new iframes for chain blades. I am here to show you the way that I have came up, that I've come up with, for pretty much interrupting behemoths down. A lot of people have been having issues with it. Let me just turn chat off. I've been having issues with it. Because they don't have as much iframes as we used to for the dash. I've been calling it mercy frames because of the latency. They would give you additional frames. So old way, you'd pretty much just like that. You boop it. This is pretty much the old way. Interrupt with chain blades. So the way I came up with is pretty much the exact same. Except it's adding one more step to this and that step is is Walking backwards at the end of the dash. If you know what I mean, it'll look like this So you'll turn around immediately. So once you hit spacebar, let go of W and hit S or Your analog stick as soon as you dash you pull your analog stick back And you should look like this If You do it too late. You'll turn to the side instead you can still get the interrupt off when you do that, but it's not as likely to get the interrupt. And so we will be showing it off on Embermane. And this way works on... This way of interrupting works on Embermane. So any of the felines. So Embermane, Riftstalker, and Stormclaw. But Stormclaw, you just hit his balls back at him and... There's lightning balls, and you don't have to worry about interrupting them like that. As long as you don't miss the balls. Ripstalker, on the other hand, is a little bit more tricky to it. I'll show you what I mean when I go up to fight him. I'll show him you in this video. And Grenache. Grenache is still roughly the same. You don't have to do the back step because when you dash into him, you end up sliding off him anyways. So you just collide with him. So the old way still works on Grenache. The chain blades, Grenache were always an issue. Carborac, Carborac has a huge hitbox. You could just dodge and attack, same as always. His iframe and in interrupt is the same. Sorry. Uh, Koshai, the only efficient way that I find to interrupt them is really with your Q or your special. You either want to dash off of a bulb, well not dash, you Q off of a bulb or special. Flip, I'll just, just say flip. Flip off of a bulb. And you want him to jump up to your right, to your left, or anywhere in between behind you. If he goes in front, you're not going to be able to interrupt him. Malarak has a huge hitbox. You can just do the old way. Uzaga is the same as Grenache. Uh, Pengar, you can do the old way. This is a damage threshold. Do interrupt. Weird one over this one. The birds, you want to do the new way of the back step to the dash. The back step dash, don't know really what you would call it. But shroud, same thing. You just gotta get the timing down. You can just Q interrupt him when he's doing his dash. You can dash into him, same as always. His hitbox is pretty big. Screeve, there's two ways to interrupt Screeve. I don't really recommend the first way. I'll show you those two ways when we fight him. There, already talked about him. He has a big hitbox. You can just dash into the old way. The old way. <sighs> Valamir. Damage threshold. So, again, we'll be doing oh, we'll be doing it this way, and it should work pretty much all the time. I say should because you gotta get that timing down. See, you just gotta get that timing down. Make sure you turn around. Pretty much what you're doing is you're dodging his attack, turning around, hitting the back of his hitbox for the interrupt. You just gotta get that timing. All about that timing. I'm still getting used to it myself. But it just takes practice. 
when you're playing with people will be a little bit more difficult, but that's really situational. The remain doesn't always go after you. So you don't really have to angle too much when you're playing with people. Because you'll be coming at them at an angle anyways. So you just pretty much do the old way of dashing. I went in too soon. But yeah, when you dash into them, you want to turn back just like that. You can get lucky and still hit. Like, if you have a lot of attack speed, you can still do the old way of interrupting the behemoths. Because you'll attack fast enough anyways. Doesn't really matter. But if you don't have any attack speed, that's the way you want to do it. You want to dash and then immediately turn. Just like that. And if you have attack speed, don't have to worry about it too much. I'm gonna sh the next one we fight will be Shrike. I'll show you the interrupts on him. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this little battle. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on Shrike. Okay, we're here at Shrike. Now, I was gonna fight Shreve instead, but I can rarely get him to actually do the interrupts, usually only once. So, I can't show you the other way that it's not necessarily too efficient, so I don't really recommend it anyways. But I will show you the interrupts you can get on Strike. Now, the Rage one. The Rage one is really fun to get if you can get it down. He only does it once per Rage. So on his very first in Rage, you can get it. It's when he just takes off. But we just need him to fly at us. Preferably before he enrages. So, you can employ the exact same thing you did on Embermane for this one, which is a new way of interrupting. So you dash at him. Ugh. Dash at him and then turn immediately. Just need to get him to do it once. And you should hit the back of his feet to get the interrupt. Just like you'd hit the back of Embermane's bottom of his chain when you dash under him. Okay, since he's on the wall, I can't necessarily show you the interrupt because you can't interrupt Shrike streak or Strike on the wall. But... I just can. He turned. So like I said, if he's not flying directly at you, same as Embermane, you don't have to worry about it too much, because he'll be going at an angle anyways. Now, another way you can interrupt him when he's first enraging is when you're sitting directly in front of him, and you just Q, and you dash with it. You usually hit the bottom of his tail, right where his feet are, and you'll interrupt that way. It was really fun to do it that way, but it's really hard to pull off. And there is that back step again. As soon as you get the timing, man, I can't stretch that enough. Stretch that enough. It's all about timing. You gotta get the very end of the eye frame. So pretty much the old way of booping, but with an added step to it. Now, I'm gonna go show Embermane. Not Embermane. Riftstalker. So I'll see you all there. And here is Riftstalker. Now, the reason why I say Riftstalker is a little bit more tricky is because you can't see his tails as much as Embermane or Shrike, Screeve, Shroud. You can even see Shrouds better than Riftstalker. That's just because he's in the portal. Shroud, you can just see the eyes. You can just tell by the distance because of that. Uh, but Riftstalker usually teleports behind you or a random location. A little bit harder to track down but as you can see you can easily get the interrupt as well as long as you know it's coming and which way it's coming from it's very easy to tell what he's gonna do as a chain blader as soon as he flinches you can easily just dodge or special out flip out if you don't want to get hit as much you just can't spam the keys as much, but 
that's a different topic altogether. We're here to talk about interrupting. Now, you should do it one more time. Unfortunately, I ran too far back, so I didn't get to show you that time. But I think he's gonna go into the Doom Room so I can show you here as well. Doom Room is a little bit more, a little bit harder to get because you gotta get ready at the right portal. And with the added step, it's just a little bit trickier. But it's doable. Unless he wounds, unless he wound his head, which right now, if you wound his head, you can't actually interrupt him because it's bugged and his hitbox will disappear. I don't know why, but it just is. Yeah, see? So I can interrupt him. I can't actually hit him at all right now. So, that's very unfortunate. But that is the current bug and there's nothing you can do about it. But, now I can hit him again. That's pretty much that. Just do the back step and you can get that interrupt off. Unfortunately, Roof Soccer bugged for me so I couldn't fully show. But well, it's a shame. But anyways, guys, I hope this can help you with the new way of interrupting. At least my way of interrupting that I will be interrupting with from here on out. It's very simple. Just adding an extra step to the old way of interrupting anyways. You don't have to change too much of your timing. You just gotta change how you how you go about it. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. If you guys have any feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And I will happily answer. If you guys have any further questions, you can find me on Twitch. Usually on every night. 10 p.m. PST. And you can ask your questions there or in the comments below. Take care, everybody.